Hello and welcome. What is charity? What is the divine love of God? And a right spirit is the right attitude or the attitude that God wants us to have, not only with one another, but also with him. How to relate with God, how to relate with one another. Agape love. Now, agape love is a God kind of love. It is this charity that we are will be talking about uh, from this uh, uh, from this video, we will have several other videos where we will try to explain in depth the characteristics of this love and what kind of love God wants us to have uh, one for another. Uh, agape is therefore unconditional love. It is love that seeks to give and not just to get. It is a love that's a mutual love but mainly characterized, uh, characterized by the desire to, uh, to help the other person, whether or not they will reciprocate back uh, to you. You see, agape is the finest and the best type of love that we could ever have. That is why it is what we are saying, uh, a characteristic of the God kind of love that we have here in Romans. Uh, chapter uh, number number five. In Romans chapter number five, we read these words in verse, uh, scripture verse number eight. It says, but God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You see, that kind of love, he loved us while we were yet sinners. You see, God does not require that you stop sinning for him to love you. He loves you in spite of your sinfulness. You see, Jesus came to this world to display the love of God in that while we were yet sinners. You see, God did not make a condition and say, he didn't say change and then I will love you. No, he said, I will love you. And therefore, you will change. You see, God commended his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. You see, the love of God is unconditional. Charity is unconditional. Charity is the divine love of God. Charity is the attitude of God. Charity is the right spirit. It's the right attitude. It is something that we should all desire to have. Yes, I desire to have charity. I desire to have the right spirit. I desire to have the right attitude. I desire to relate well with God. I desire to relate well with human beings. I desire to relate well with my brothers and my sisters, whether physical or spiritual. I want to relate with them the way God wants me to relate with them. But it can only happen if God creates in me a clean heart and he renews a right spirit within me. See, in Ezekiel chapter number 36, when God was making a promise of the new covenant, he said this in scripture verse number, number 24. He says, For I will take you from among the heathen and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. Verse 25. Then I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols and I will cleanse you. Now God made a covenant. He made a promise to the nation of Israel and he said he was going to pour clean water. He was going to pour the Holy Spirit into their lives and make them new and give them a new way of looking at things. Give them a new attitude. It says in verse number 26, it says, and a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh and I will put my spirit within you. I'll put my attitude 
within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and you shall keep my commandments and do them. You see, it is this new spirit, it is this love of God, it is this charity that God has promised, which the Apostle Paul, writing uh, to the uh, Corinthians in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter number 13, and we will read and explain and, and delve deeper into what the Apostle Paul will be talking about here in chapter number 13. But in the first uh, uh, three verses, I just want to read them, and then we will pray and bring this to a close, but then we will continue with this message. He says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as a sounding brass or a tingling cymbal. He says, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Whatever this charity is, it is so vital that the Apostle Paul says, if we don't have it, all else is nothing. We must understand what the right spirit is. We must understand what the divine love of God is. We must understand what charity is. And whatever it is, we must seek to have the same in our lives. Shall we pray? Precious Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, my prayer is that you will help us and that you will give us the desire uh, to want to know what charity is, what the love of God indeed is, and that you will give us a desire to seek to have this charity, this spirit of God, this divine love of God in our lives. For if we do not have charity, it does not matter what else we have. Help us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you next week.